Hello, here we go. So our first, well, I've done holiday DIY workshops before, but I feel like it's the first one because it's been so long since I've done them. So I'm so happy that you guys are here live or watching the recording. I hope this is super helpful for you. And I, my name's Jesse. if we haven't got a chance to meet. Um, I've been using oils for Jesus Louise like almost eight years now. And so when I first started out, I really jumped into the DIY stuff and I loved it. And then I, with children and all the things, like then I sort of phased out and then, you know, so it's like come full circle, but it's just such a fun thing to do. And as I've been preparing for this class, I have really had a lot of fun thinking about, okay, what am I going to do for gifts for people this year that involve my oils where I can, um, you know, use stuff that I already have, but do a really thoughtful, meaningful gift. So as I'm going to show you stuff today, I'm going to have like some suggestions for like, oh, this would pair really well with it wool socks or a pair of slippers, you know, cause I'm going to give you a, um, what do I call it? Like the warm feet roller blend to keep feet warm. So hopefully that's helpful, but this is where, you know, if you have questions, please let me know. Um, if you have suggestions too, you know, like, oh, I've tried this combo, share it in the chat. Um, my plan too is at the end, just depending on this is where I can, I tried to like, I tried to be conscious of time and my thought is we'll be together for about an hour. But so some of the DIY stuff that I have in the ebook, we may or may not get to all of it, but I have my, I don't think we'll get to all of it. Um, but then also at the end, I was planning on staying on just so that, you know, if you're, those of you that are on with me live, if you know, you have questions or you're like, okay, you know, I got, I don't know. Um, uh, like, uh, I don't know. I was going to say Copaiba. I have ideas for you. For like an oil that you have, you're like, I don't know what to do with it. Like we can brainstorm some ideas and gift ideas. So know that that's my plan at the end. If you want to stay on for that. Um, so let me look at my notes. If you want, I don't know if it's helpful because this is where they keep changing zoom. Um, in like, if you hover over my screen, there's like three horizontal dots that I think should appear. There's, and then if you click on it, there's an option to like pin, pin my screen and not saying that I want you to type it focused on me, but since I'm going to be teaching, um, you could do that. And that might be helpful. If not, just do that and then unpin my face. Okay. So, um, then what else? I, my, <laughs> I wanted to do the day three raffle because, you know, we have our 12 days. Oh, that's, I have it set so Ryan can jingle through and then it will keep, he's like, but so he was just telling me to have a good class. Um, to do the day three raffle drawing for our 12 days of giveaways, but I don't have all the name. I don't have everything cut up. So I'll do that later over in our Facebook group. We've done day one and day two. Um, and then just as a reminder, how you qualify for that. If, it, if you do 125 PV LRP, you get one entry. You do it by the, and the sooner you process your order, the sooner you get to enter into the giveaway. Um, if you do a 200 PV LRP, you get two entries. Um, there's one person that they're like, I did two 200 PV LRP orders. I'm like, okay, well, I guess you get four entries. Um, and then if you do standard orders for every 200 PVs, it's one entry. So hopefully that's clear as, clear as mud. Um, and then in our communities, I have the entry forms for that. So sorry, I don't have the raffle to, ready to go. Um, and then as we're going through this morning as well, I just want, I want you to see the creativity that you have, like the options at your hand, like, you know, as we're talking about carrier oils, for example, like I know, like I really like jojoba oil, but maybe someone else really likes using avocado oil, but actually right now, I really am liking this, the sensitive skin oil, you know, so for the face serum, I think that's what I'm going to use but you can swap stuff out or, you know, as I give you drop recommendations, it's not like it has to be exactly a certain number of drops. You can, you know, if you want to make it a little stronger, you can make it a little bit stronger. So just give yourself the freedom to experiment with stuff or maybe, you know, you don't have all the oils that I have. So omit one or swap in another one. And so just, and just think about like the side benefits you get to talk about. Cause maybe you bought, um, I don't know. Um, I'm looking at the oils in front of me. What would be one? Um, grapefruit, because it helps curb your appetite. So you put grapefruit in your water and it, it helps with that. But then as you learn about, like you look in a book or a resource, and like, oh my goodness, grapefruit's good for this, this, and this. Like 
we get to look at all these side benefits and other ways you can use stuff that you already have like with our oils and then just products in your home, like baking soda, you know, and it's, it's just, yeah. Um, and then my goal ultimately is to get your head spinning. Like as I'm teaching you stuff, maybe you're like, yeah, I don't want to do the candle thing, but you're like something else piques your interest. And then it just gets your, your mind spinning. And then a lot of these recipes I got from the doTERRA blog or from just different friends in the doTERRA world that have shared them with me. The doTERRA blog has so many so many DIY ideas. So if you haven't checked it out, I'm going to challenge you to do so. Um, so let's get started. I have, so we're going to do the candle first. And again, I, I sent out and emailed you the ebook. Did you guys get it? Okay. And isn't it pretty? I had so much fun putting it together. So I'm going to like, I have like notes scribbled all over. So I'm going to do an update. I'm going to insert this recording. So it's like all in one to send out to people. And you can feel free to share it with other people that you think might enjoy um like doing DIY stuff um you know so I tweaked a few things so with the candle so back like I used to be like the Yankee candle person you know like I loved all the candles or the body shop I just did it all and I didn't know that that was really toxic and then when oils are introduced to me you know and I got a diffuser it's just like that was I just stopped doing candles. I just stopped altogether and I haven't genuinely touched one since because I learned that I think I was afraid to because I'm like, they're toxic, they're scary. But then I, I've learned there is like a non-toxic way to make candles. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. But um, <laughs> I am, um, I have to, so with the recipe, okay, let me just show you. So this is like the, I have a couple here that you know I've made and I just have like, they're four ounce canning jars. And so the, the, and the recipe that I have in the ebook, I'm going to modify it because one, like I did the recipe and it fills the jar like halfway. So really like doubling the recipe would fill a four ounce canning jar. You know, the kind you can get a sheet of them. Um, and, and this is also the size of jar that I use for like immunity tea, which we'll do in a minute. But, and I used a wooden wick, but it's just, and I opened the jar and it smells so good that I have I mean, it's, it's so simple, like the recipe. It's beeswax, soy wax, coconut oil, like the solid coconut oil, and you melt it all together, and then you add oil, and then you put it in. But I'm gonna show you the steps. So I'm gonna, we're gonna go over to my oven. So let me see if it's stayed. Oh, good, okay. So when you're, sometimes people get nervous with the whole double broiler thing because they're like, oh my goodness, that just sounds, I mean, I know I did. So what I do, it's so easy. So I have a canning jar and I have found that the wide mouth canning jars, you guys, is, is easier to work with and also for cleaning purposes because <laughs> it can get, and then it's just water that's in my, in my pan. And then it's like a couple inches of water and I got it boiling and I mixed together the two tablespoons beeswax, six tablespoons of soy wax, two tablespoons of coconut oil, and I melted it. And you can see it's liquidy now. I need to get a trivet. Hold on. Um, the beeswax is going to be the last thing to melt. And from start to like solid form to where it's liquid, it takes about 10 minutes. That's why I didn't want to like do that on the, on the Zoom because I mean, I can sing and dance for a while, but um, I'm going to make it so that I can do this right here in front of you. Um, but with your, oh, geez, Louise. Okay, I cooking showed it, but I forgot the, the whole, I have to get a jar in the chat, or you can even unmute yourself, introduce yourself really quick. I'll be right back. Okay, see, that was really fast. Hi, Elizabeth. <laughs> Hi, guys. Um, side note, these are really cute trivets. I am partial to these felt balls because they come from Nepal. And so, and I got to go to Nepal with doTERRA on a compact sourcing trip and it's all special. And so I have these Nepalese things all over my house, Trader Joe's. And um, what were they? They're like two or three bucks. But I have my Huga diffuser right there is sitting on one of these. I mean, or I can use it for hot stuff, but I've put some of these under my diffusers and it just makes it festive. Okay, so with... Step one, you melt all those things together. And I'm going to go grab it in a minute. This is the wooden wick that I got. And I got these off Amazon. 
Um, because I've learned that a lot, like if you get one of the other traditional types of wicks, they're often coated in paraffin wax. And if the goal is to be non-toxic, something like this, these wood wicks are going to be a less toxic option. So what you wanna do though, is I'm gonna dip, because see how it's sliding around in here? And if I were to pour it, I'm like, oh, I don't want the wick to be on the left-hand side or whatever. I'm gonna first dip this in that wax substance and I'm gonna hold it there and it'll solidify and harden. Then I'll pour the rest. I need to also put in my oil. Okay, so I'm gonna go get this stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, but this is what I wanted to show you. So <laughs> I needed six tablespoons and you, <laughs> so um, I, have, I, can make, I can make a lot of candles, but this is just funny and it wasn't that extensive on Amazon. So this is my soy wax. You don't need to get as big of a bag. Um, unless you want to start a wax or a candle shop or something. And then the other stuff. Oh, and then for mixing, you guys. Yeah. Um, I also like using wood, like this is a, like a skewer that I used. Um, Cause if you use a cooking spoon, it's going to be just so annoying to clean at the end. So this, I can just throw it away or like a popsicle stick or tongue depressor. So I'm going to take this, put this down. Okay. So I'm just going to dip it in so it gets wet. And then I'm going to put it right here and just hold it and it'll harden really quick. And it just holds it in place. See, so now it doesn't move around. Then I'm going to add my oil. So I did 50 drops of oil. You can play, I have to count in my head. Count with me. Two, three, four, five. I don't add the oil when I'm melting it over the stove because you want to keep it, um, you want to keep the essential oil as stable as possible. And so like that boiling process could make it unstable. So, I mean, now we just pour it in and this is, we're basically done. And you can use it, you know, hot, hot, whatever, if you need to, but this is gonna fill it right to the top almost, but there should be enough room to trim. And then I, like the rest of the class, I'm gonna let it just solidify. But then one of the other tricks that was shared with me is once it's solidified, you guys, Put some holiday, and I did holiday joy. And I mean, because it's Christmas time, and holiday joy, holiday, please hey, play around with it. But you, that was a lot of drops compared to like if you're making a rollerball or something. But candles have, you like want to have that intense smell. And I think we're also, like all of us on the screen, at least we're used to our diffusers and having that strong smell. And so you need to have something with a strong smell. So like cinnamon and stuff. But whatever blend you did, I did holiday joy. I put a little on my finger and then I, massage not massage I just rubbed it around on the top and then you seal it up so when you open it for the first time you get that aroma right away of whatever it is I thought that was a good tip and then when I I mean then you just like these wicks you just like trim them with scissors and it's easy so that is melting um so we did our candles that was easy right and especially if you you know wanted to make a bunch all at once i mean boom 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 i mean it's it's so easy you just the longest part is waiting for the beeswax to melt do you guys have questions about the candles i feel like that's the most complicated thing i'm going to teach you today and we got it done but it was just and i think i mean you can decorate it up i mean you could get some labels to go on top that um you know like if you want to do handwritten labels you could print stuff off you could put some you know, like fabric over the top or just tie some I mean, you can get really creative, but I mean, these are super cute gifts that you can just give people like giving to the neighbors or, I mean, we live in the middle of nowhere and I want to do stuff. I mean, I've seen people do it before, where, you know, for the, the delivery people that like UPS and the mailman. And I'm like, I want to do some fun stuff for this year because they have to drive really far to get to my house. And so I'm thinking about some stuff like this that um, ultimately like Luke could help me with. And um, okay, let me move my supplies over here. Turn off my oven. Um, and, and again, I haven't done candles until prepping for this class and sometimes getting the wooden wicks started, it's like, you might have to, you know, 
roll it around. I mean, mine got started. I have a draft in here, so it um, sometimes blows it out. But it's just it's it's just fun, and I think the wooden wick is just a really fun thing. Okay, if you guys let me know, I have questions. Please let me know. Um, once you're comfortable with doing the double boiler thing, like your your world just opened up to a lot of other things you can do. Stuff I've made in the past are lotion bars are really fun. Um, you can get some silicone molds. I have these really fun DoTerra um, oil bottle ones that I got from a site um, that I could, if you want me to later, I can show them to you, but it's just like some fun silicone molds that you can make lotion bars. And I love the lotion bars or I've poured them into a deodorant tube. So it's like, like a thicker, you know, when I was pregnant, I remember I made that lotion bar that, that I, it was just easier to rub it on my belly and not Evelyn puts it on her cheeks. Um, you can make chapstick. You could make, I mean, there's a lot you can do once you've gotten over the hump of the double broiler, broiler but again, it's really easy. Wide mouth lid, so. Or so a lot of people will use like the, um, like a measuring cup that has a hook and then they'll that hooky handle and then they'll just hook that on the side. But I've just always used candy jars. Um, a blend that I really like that I think would be good as a candle is equal parts citrus bliss, citrus bloom, and harvest spice. I've been diffusing that a lot. I'm like, that'd be amazing as a candle. So that's another recommendation I have for you. Okay, look at my notes. Okay, you guys said you don't have questions on that. I'm gonna move forward. Okay, so now we're gonna do a room spray because that was one of the things when I did the survey over in Ohana Tribe, a lot of people wanted to know like, how do I make a room spray? And so we're gonna do that. And again, getting spray bottles, like you can repurpose old spray bottles that you've got from doTERRA, like your on guard hand sanitizing mist. You can clean out empty bottles. Um, I have in the ebook steps on how to clean them out. So they're like, you get all the last drops of oil out. But just with the holidays and stuff, I'm like, I got some fun. Like, look at this fun spray bottle. It's sort of iridescent. Um, so I'm gonna use that today, but ultimately, you know, just find a spray bottle and then you can adjust again, also the quantities if you want something stronger or not as strong. And really with the spray, I mean, it's water and oil, <laughs> really. But then you could have something that like to add in that will help emulsify. So you could add in Epsom salts, which I have today, or you could add in witch hazel. Um, but I am just going to use Epsom salts. But in the recipe that I have shared with you is frankincense, Douglas fir, and grapefruit. It's just like a really great combo. But again, try holiday joy or holiday peace, play around with scents. And it could be fun where you have like the signature scent when people come over and like, oh my goodness, your towels always smell like, blah, 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 you know, whatever you want to be your signature scent. So um, my tip to, though, when you're filling these up is to do the water first. Because I remember I was making, a, I was doing a make and take years ago and we were making owie spray and it has tea tree, frankincense and lavender. And I mean, frankincense is spendy. And I remember, and it's fractionated of coconut oil as a base. And I just remember people like were like, a lot of frankincense got wasted. And I was like trying to play it all like chipper and cool. Like, oh, it's okay. You know, but in my head, I'm like, oh my gosh, you're spelling so much. So, um, and then I'm going to, and I also usually use distilled water. I thought we had distilled water in the house, but I think it all has been used. And the idea behind using distilled water is like, is it, if this spray sits for a long time, eventually water could like, things could grow, but the distilled water has like been distilled. Um, I'm just gonna use, um, I have bottled water over there that I'm gonna use. But again, I'm gonna be using this during the holiday season a lot and I'll go through it, okay? But if you're ever making like a spray that just might be sitting around for a long time, just use distilled water and it'll last longer, okay? So I'm gonna get my bottled water. If you wanna, I don't know how many of you are, is anyone assembling along with me? Okay, Gianna is. Okay, so I like to have a little funnel. So I'm filling it up and I actually think this is, I said in the recipe a two ounce, I'm pretty sure mine is, this is a four ounce spray bottle. So fill it most of the way with water. Oh, let's see, and I, this is where I'm like, it's gonna overfill, I think. Case in point, yeah, it like filled right to the top. So I'm gonna dump a little out. This is where you would cry a little bit if um, <laughs> you already had the oils in, so. Tip number one from Jesse. Okay, so in a two ounce spray bottle, you're gonna add in 10 drops frankincense, 20 drops Douglas fir, 20 drops grapefruit. And so I'm going to, well, actually my bottle, I think this is four ounce. I'm still gonna do that same recipe and then I'm gonna test it. 
And then I can, you can always add more too. That's the beauty of it, right? So my- so How many drops total? I'm gonna use um, holiday piece. I have 50 drops total in a two ounce. Again, you okay, can do less. I think less. mine is two ounce. I know, and that's where I'm like, why don't they write it on the bottom? Which sometimes they do. Um, okay, so 50 drops? Yeah, 50 drops in a two ounce, but you could do less. Okay. Smell it. Yeah, I, it doesn't say what size it is. Oh no, mine's a four ounce. Look at these. Whimsy and Wellness, you guys, is such a fun site. Like, I bought a bunch of fun things, but they it came in this little thing. So thinking about gifting, then it's just like, oh, that's so beautiful. So mine's a four ounce. I'm still going to do 50. So if you have a two ounce, then maybe do like 25-ish drops. Spray it, see if you like the strength, and then you can always adjust accordingly. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And if you haven't, let me tip this down, um, made stuff before, my counter, these counters are like really busy. I don't know if you can really see that great. Um, some oils come out faster than others. So just beware. Okay, Douglas fir, 20 drops of that. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then 20 drops of grapefruit. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. And I mean, I said you could add an Epsom salt. It's like a pinch of Epsom salts or, you know, some witch hazel. Um, and if you don't, just shake it before you use it. But my salt, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna use my food nanny salt. Actually. Food nanny is a gal that I buy my flour from. And I'm like one of her fangirls. So you could use Epsom salts. I'm gonna use just like my salt. I'm gonna put some pinches in and it just, again, helps it just mix the oil and water mix a little bit better. So I did a couple pinchfuls. Then put your lid on. And I'm still going to shake it because the salt's not all dissolved. And then you can get fun labels. I mean, you can just get really creative with it. Um, and then spray away. Okay, hold on. Oh, <laughs> the lid was on. <laughs> I'm like, why is it not pushing down? And there's just a yummy room spray. And that, like, think you have, you know, I mean, you could, before company comes over, spray your towels in your guest bathroom or you just walk around the house and spray like I used to do with a great glade spray. But I mean, we have the diffusers too, or spray your pillows on your couch. And so you can just do a quick, but you can make a sleepy time spray. I mean, you can go crazy, which is making fun sprays for people. So maybe you get someone to sleep. Ooh, I don't know if any of you guys um, have gotten this with the sleep kit, but you can get this fun eye mask. It's with pure, um, it's a special kind of silk. I, forget, I always forget what it's called. It's a really fancy silk, um, but like an eye mask and then make them a sleep spray. I mean, how fun, right? I mean, just these cool gifts that you can do for people. The, oh, mulberry silk. So this is one of the add-ons you can get from doTERRA um, with the sleep kit, but I mean, you can buy a sleep a mask, eye mask anywhere, right? So do you guys have questions? How are you doing? I see someone, there's something in the chat. Report. I know the oil, oil comes out fast, right, Gianna? Okay. I was talking okay. about the 50 drops. Oh, like, you know, no. slow oil and how you like, oh, this could take forever. Well, I was yeah. like, well, thank goodness that came out really fast because then you'd be there forever. <laughs> I know. Wait till we get to the cedar wood. <laughs> okay. So next we have, um, wait, do you guys have questions about the room spray? Are we good? I mean, again, it's really, it's like oil and water, add something to emulsify or not. Okay. Um, okay. So then, I said in my notes, oh, and you could even, you guys, like old, old 15 mils, if you clean them out, you could buy spray tops to go on the tops of these. So they're just mini little spray tops and then do mini sprays that you could put in stocking stuffers or just keep a couple in your bag that, you know, when you run into someone at the grocery store and you're talking and you're like, oh, it's so good to catch up. You're like, here, here's a little treat for you. And you can give them a fun holiday spray or that could be something to do for the you know postal cert, like you know like how I want to do something maybe I'm not going to probably put you know a big jar like this out but I could do some of my repurpose some of my old 15 mils for just like a pick-me-up energy spray that would be really fun so like spray it on your clothes because I'm sure you're running ragged this time of year so see how you can just get creative and one thing leads to another okay so now we're going to make cologne or perfume so this is again where 
um, doTERRA, I don't have any amount, like doTERRA spray bottles you can buy from them. I use that usually for like bug spray or like the hand sanitizer and stuff. But for perfume, I want it to feel fun and luxe, like perfume, you know, like, and so this is my perfume bottle that I bought a couple years ago on a site and it's empty. So I'm like, well, we're just going to refill it together. But just, you know, cause I mean, I just remember like my perfume bottle, part of it was like what the bottle looked like was I felt drawn to it, you know? And so finding a perfume bottle that, and again, doing these natural swaps where like, cause a lot, I mean, perfumes out there, they're toxic. We're spraying them on our skin, what goes on our skin, goes in our body. And a lot of us are spraying them right over our throat, which is where our thyroid's at. So it's just eliminating some of that stuff. So I have in the ebook some blend ideas for you. And then I also have a link that I put in the ebook that gives you some more step-by-step -step instructions to creating your own personal scent. So again, I gave you some ideas. Um, I like whisper and it's not like, I'm like, oh, I could add in other things, which I really could, but I like whisper. That's what I do. So whisper used to be available in a five mil but now it's in a whisper touch. And so any of the, anytime you're using the touch ones, remember it's just a fraction of coconut oil. And so you would do, um, I would just do more drops, but I'd say for a perfume in a two ounce, which mine's a two ounce, doing about 60 ish drops of oil, like 60 ish. And then I like to use vodka as my, like it's an alcohol. So it's not like getting my clothes wet, but you could also use like rubbing alcohol or something, but I got my, vodka here um and again i'm going to recommend filling most of the way with the do the oils last okay but then i was also look at this fun and just for sake of time i i'm i'm going to show you how to do this like but i'm not going to make the other one that i was going to because you'll see how it goes it's just different oils but this is i don't know if dad dad's probably around mom but this is like gonna be one of my dad's christmas presents but it's i'm gonna make him a he's still sleeping so he's okay. not seen Okay, so I'm making him a man cologne. The man smell that I have in the ebook is the one I'm gonna make for my dad. And it says sandalwood. Um, Ryan likes the Hawaiian sandalwood, but you know, there's Indian sandalwood and Hawaiian sandalwood. Um, Ryan said he prefers the Hawaiian for that combo. Okay, so again, let me tilt this. Okay, here we go. And like Evelyn is watching, I mean, like it's interesting, like having a little girl, I mean, she, she watches what I'm doing, like the, you know, getting ready in the morning and stuff. And so when I'm putting on my perfume, she runs over and she wants perfume. Like, I don't worry about spraying whisper on her because it's not toxic, you know? So it's nice having these options at our fingertips that are good for our little people too. You know, and then we spray her baby and we do all these different things. Okay. So it's about 60 ish drops total. Although Jesse, I think of how she loves to put everything in her mouth that she just might get a little tipsy. No. <laughs> she, just oh, never dear. getting into that. Oh, dear. Yeah. It's already funny. <laughs> I know. Foom, foom is what she calls it. Um, Amave is one that Ryan really likes, too. Oh, my goodness. Sorry, you guys. This is like a thicker, a thicker combo. And I've pretty much lost count. I think I'm at about 15. But this is where... Um, Oh, seem they come out fast sometimes. <laughs> I think I'm at about 20. But I really, okay, so Whimsy and Wellness is a site where I found some fun, like, perfume type bottles. Oh, my Lanta. Guys, I don't know where I'm at with this. Um, this one I got from a site called Astro Barn Design. I have the link in TMAP um, over there, but if you need me to send the link, I 100% don't know. But no, it's about 60-ish. But when I'm done, I'll spray it and see if it's strong enough or if I need to add more. But again, finding your own personal scent, I think is just really fun. I think it's part of like being a human human being. Like we want to like be uniquely us. And so finding a scent that you really like, that's you. But I think it's a fun gift. And then you just shake and then spray. But again, it just, it doesn't get you as wet as, um, if you used water, you know what I mean? Okay, so questions? I mean, those are pretty straightforward. Okay, now we're gonna do um, some two rollers. So the first one I have is a warm feet roller and it has cypress, lemongrass, and cinnamon. And I thought this could be a fun thing to pair with, you know, like I was saying earlier, a pair of wool socks to give someone or a pair of slippers and just be like, here you go. 
or um, even, you know, a pair of gloves. And I mean, it's just, there's a lot of things you can do. Um, so this is a whimsy and wellness. I feel like I like should be, and this is an ad for whimsy and wellness. And their one, their one downside is they do use Young Living oils, but they have really fun bottles and they're super nice people. So, um, but this was a, like when you order, they give you an option to get a surprise set. And so this was a surprise set of five bottles I got. I'm like, sweet. And then I also got a three bottle surprise set. Um, and it's sort of cool, you guys. This one came with, um, this is a 10 mil spray, a 10 mil dropper, and then a 10 mil roller. Isn't that cool? Um, I just think that's really fun. So for this warm feet roller, another tip when you're making, I, so Luke, as you thought of this, like I had this glass jar and he's like, why don't you put your fractionated coconut oil on that with the pump? And I'm like, that's genius. And so this is my fractionated coconut oil. I've just like, for appearance purposes, <laughs> I put into this cause I think it looks fun. Having a pump is really nice. Um, Okay, so what I did for this one, again, you can always adjust. And my general rule of thumb when I'm making a 10 mil roller for an adult is 20 to 30-ish drops. You 100% can do more. I'm thinking that this is one like for warm feet and like pet sip, blah, blah, cinnamon, um, you know, there's gonna be a tingle associated with that, but someone might, you might want that tingle. So you could always adjust and add more if you want. Um, but again, just general rule of thumb is 20 to 30-ish drops of oil for a 10 mil roller. So the combo that I liked was 15 drops of cypress, five drops of lemongrass, and then eight drops of cinnamon is what I did. So when you're making a roller, I do, I do, do, I do, do, I do. The doTERRA roller balls, I really, really like, like those are the ones I use majority of the time, but these ones I just got for fun, like for holiday, cause they're, and they're a little bit more expensive, but the doTERRA ones are a hundred percent awesome. Like they've got that steel roller on top and they're just, they're delightful. Okay. So I do the drops first. So it's 15 drops, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then five drops of lemongrass. One, two, three, four, five. And then I did eight drops of cinnamon and I think it smells really good. I have it on my feet right now and it's, it's pretty nice guys. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh gosh. I got nine. And that just happens sometimes. Um, cinnamon is like the heart fire oil as a, this gal Desiree has explained some of you guys know who Desiree is. Um, and there's this, I haven't done it before, but she challenges you to put a drop of cinnamon on your tongue every day for 30 days. And it's like the heart fire challenge is what she calls it. I'm like, that sounds like a fun thing to do this time of the year. Um, okay, then you add your fraction of coconut oil. When you're making your rollers, I like to stick the roller in. Do you see how like I put it in just so like spillage? Because if you get the fraction of coconut oil and they're just using it from doTERRA, that one, it's like, it's sort of hard to squeeze in. So that's where I'd say get a dropper if you don't have a pump. And this one, some of the rollers are see-through so you can see how full it is getting, but I just stop every little bit and check to make sure I'm not overfilling. And I got it a little full there. Ding, dang. So, and then you just pop your top end. And then I like to just swirl it a little to mix it up and you're good to go. But, and think about too, like making a roller and there are so many different rollerball combos out there. Um, if you were to, you know, like the gift, like a gift card box, you know, like that size or like a jewelry size box, rollers fit really well in those. I mean, and you could, depending on the size of the box, you could just do like four rollers and put them in and wrap them up and it'd be really nice. Or, you know, I, you know, as I get older, like, I mean, it's fun to get a gift card. You know, it's not like, you know, sometimes it's, I think sometimes giving a gift card maybe isn't as exciting, but to receive a gift card as an adult, I think can be really fun. You know what I mean? Um, but to do, just to add a little extra touch is like giving someone a gift card, but then putting it in a custom roller that's like, hey, this, I think you'd really like this one. And so that's what I was thinking with the mindfulness roller that that could just, our parent, because I mean, this year, and I guess we're in December now, but like last month over in Ohana Tribe, I did a bunch of you know, diffuser recipes and roller recipes all focused around mind mindfulness, which I think this time of year is just a good, there's just so much that can distract us because of just the time of year it is. And so I liked that mindfulness roller one. I'm not going to just like make it again. Cause again, you saw me make a roller and you can just like do different drops. Um, so 
but with the mindful mindfulness roller, you know, like giving it with a journal that you give to someone, someone that would enjoy journaling. I, I'm working, I really want to like journaling. And so I'm, I persevere the type of journal that my personality really likes. It's um, called the start today journal. I got it from the Hollis company and it has you at the beginning like, dream and set goals about your future. And then you each day, and I, I've started doing it when I sit down at my desk to do work, you write down five things you're grateful for, and then 10 dreams you made happen. And you write them in present as if you made them happen, even though they're goals for the future. And then you like, at the bottom, you write the main goal you're working on. And so it's quick and I can just do it, but it really helps when I do that. So I'm like something like the mindfulness roller would be just a fun, a fun thing to go with it. So that's the roller stuff. Do you guys have questions about rollers or any roller combos that you've had fun with lately that you wanted to share? I have a question about this roller. Yeah. So I made this for myself because I am prone to have really cold feet. Mm -hmm. So I was like, this will be good for me. So how do you use it on the top of your feet, roll it on the bottom, put on socks? Good question. I just put on the bottom of my feet and put on socks. And I just okay. take them. Like cypress is the oil of motion, of movement and flow, and so it gets things going. Um, and then the lemongrass is just another good movement oil, and it's good for like limp, limp stuff. And then cinnamon is like got that heat that it brings. Okay, so okay. I put bottoms of feet, sock it up. So that's even thinking of, I mean, we know cinnamon is spicy, so it's like I wouldn't put it on the little kids' hands, you know, because they're gonna touch their eyes. But I'm like, yeah. Thinking about me as an adult, if my hands get cold and like we go on side by side rides when we get cold, I'm like, I could put it on my hands, put on my gloves, you know, and it might keep my hands warm or someone's going skiing, you know, that could be a fun gift if you're someone's getting skis for Christmas, you know, give them a roller to go along with it. So, yeah, good question. Any other questions for me on that? Hi, Betty. <laughs> Okay, so now what I want to show you how to make is a skin oil, a glowing skin oil. So I have three different recipes that I'm ultimately going to show you, or I'm not going to make them all. Um, again, I have, I have, this is a whimsy I'm on this. This is a 30 mil. And so I have, where's it at? Like I've, I've shared something with somebody, like I, I'm obsessed with droppers. Um, almost more than roller balls right now, because it's just how I often like using oils is I will put, like, this is my flow blend that I keep next to my desk. I just like putting the drops in my hand. And then I, so this time of year, my hands are a little bit more dry. So it feels a little bit more like a lotion. And then I still, I do my ghetto diffuser, take my deep breaths. And then I rub it on my clothes a little bit, which I mean, depending like if you're wearing silk or something, don't like rub oil all over your, clothes, but I mean, I'm wearing flannel and you put it in your hair. Um, droppers can get knocked over easy, especially, you know, it's like little people around. And so, um, droppers are fun, but then I was like, Ooh, a pump would be cool to have a pump that then I could spray stuff. So that's what I want to do for my skin oil that I'm going to make. But again, you could do it. I just recommend a dropper or a pump. Um, and so in the ebook, I have a base level nourishing skin oil. It's called the glowing nourishing, glowing skin oil. Or I have like a Lux one that has blue tansy in it as well. And then I'm going to add one more that I found that my friend Sarah shared. She calls it her glow up serum. But any of these, like these are all great skin oils. And depending on what oils you have, you could modify. And like I was saying at the beginning, like if there's a certain oil that you know your skin really likes, like for a carrier oil, use that one. And so I had shared that I really am liking this since the skin oil. So that's what I'm going to use for my base. But know that in the ebook, I have, you know, you know, some options of different carrier oils or in Sarah's recipe, she has you do a quarter, like halfway argan oil, quarter way rosehip oil, quarter of the way sweet almond, quarter of the way jojoba, and then doing your oils. So again, if you don't have all four of those, just use, just use what you have. And, you know, so just give yourself the flexibility to not like follow the recipe to a T. Okay. Um, but I'm going to do the nerd in mine today. What I'm going to show you is just the nourishing skin oil, like the base one. And then later I might add some other oils. So the base one has, where I have so many, I had it all like straightened out in front of me and then like I start talking and then they spread out. So lavender, frankincense and copaiba 
and geranium are in the base skin face oil. These are all great skin oils. Um, and again, in the luxe one, it adds in blue tansy. And then it, the recipe I have, it like switches up some of the carrier oils. But again, I'm gonna do the base, just the base one. So I love, if you guys, I, I mean, I know my mom loves the skin. Have you, has anyone else tried this skin or the sensitive skin carrier oil? It's delightful. And so you could even, I mean, heck, this is 30 mil. If you wanted to do this, you could just add oil straight to this if you wanted. But. Yes, and what's really awesome with that leftover sensitive skin oil bottle, because mm -hmm. I'm just finishing my first one, you can get that beautiful colored duct tape. And the most reasonable place to get it is Walmart. And you put that duct tape and it fits perfectly right over all the writing. So you can make your own custom bottle. And, and nobody even knows that it was the sensitive skin oil and it's wide. And because it's duct tape, it has, you know, it stays on. And then where you um, join the two pieces, I just overlap about a half of an inch and, um, and it makes the prettiest bottle. I, I love recycling all of the doTERRA bottles that I get. Okay, so, and you can see that it's not, I, mine was my other bottle of skin oil is in the office, so I'm not going to run and grab it, but I mean, pretend this is full all the way, and then I am going to do 20 drops of lavender. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm the person that if I'm doing like 10 sit-ups, I have to count out loud or I could lose, I could lose track. Okay, and then I'm gonna do 10 drops of frankincense. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. What are some of your other favorite skin oils that you guys like? And I'm gonna do 10 drops of geranium. So geranium's a little bit thicker. I really love jojoba oil. And I love almond oil. Mm -hmm. I'll be like grapeseed avocado oil and then i'm gonna do 10 drops of copaiba one two three four five six seven eight nine ten um copaiba if you guys haven't tried the copaiba touch roller that came out it's just so nice and it's a really nerd it's just fantastic for skin that's why they it came out in a touch roller um one hack put it like rub it on your nail beds and it's gonna help it's gonna help healthy up those nail beds of yours. Okay, so now you have this luxe nourishing skin oil. I don't know where I put the lid for this. Um, and then you, again, you could pair it with some other stuff too, like a jade roller like this, thinking of a gift for somebody. Um, you could do the, I never could say it right. This, the stone, the gushua stones. You could find some of these. The ones that doTERRA is selling with the Yarrow Palm, it got pushed back to the spring. I think it has something to do with ships like out in the ocean or something. Um, but pairing, like getting some fun skincare type product, then pairing it with a luxe skin oil. And that's where, you know, you could also make like a glow stick where, I mean, this is a 30 mil, a roller is a 10 mil. So maybe for, you know, you keep the the bigger one for yourself and then you make a skin roller like a glow skin roller for someone as a gift you know because then the price it brings the price point down especially if you're doing the luxe one that has like blue tansy um you know you can be creative with that so if you wanted to do this is 10 mils this is 30 mils so just you would divide or just divide the recipe in thirds you know so you would do a third of the amount of drops in this and then you could have some fun gifts again, or, you know, if you're doing a, getting a massage gift certificate for somebody for Christmas, you know, pair it with a fun Lux roller like this or the massage body oil that doTERRA came out with that I'm obsessed with. So it's just pairing it with fun stuff. I have th this other thing I I'm confessing, I haven't used it yet, but I'm after, as I was preparing, I'm like, I'm going to use this. This is a microderm roller that <laughs> My mom got it for me a couple years ago and I've been scared to use it. I don't know why, because I'm like, it's a bunch of needles. 
but I just got, I watched a video and I got a little more instruction on it. So I'm going to start using it. So it's like two to three times a week at, on your clean skin, you roll this and it's really good for scarring, like acne scars and stuff. And, age, and that, that's where I'm at with my skincare regime too, is I want to work on my scarring because I've cleared up my acne. So this is going to be a really good product to use after washing my face, rolling this around on my face, and then putting on my skin oil that I made. So that is one of my plans. It's so funny as a mom, um, some of those things that I'm like, that feels like so luxurious and like self-care, but I like, don't even take the time to do certain things. Like, I'm like, how long would it take for me to do that? Not long. Right. Um, so challenging myself and you guys to just like make self-care a priority. Um, then I, like I said, there's another recipe in here that I'm going to add an ebook that is just another type of face serum that would be really fun to make for yourself or others. Do you guys have questions about the serum? No, but I have one little comment about your roller that uh -huh. if you are a person who tends to have sensitive skin um, because they use that on me after my um, cancer treatment because I had some skin cancer that was removed right by my eye and they had me um, do these kind of natural peel things. And if your skin is really sensitive, the, the perfect thing to start with um, when you do that roller is the sensitive skin oil. Because any other thing, you're, when you roll it, you're making your skin more porous and you're breaking um, the surface so that it goes in and it rebuilds your collagen. And so, um, I would start with this sensitive skin oil and then add, you know, after, after your skin gets used to having those little holes pricked in it. Um, and then the other tip is that you want to do that at night and not oh. in the morning. I made the mistake of doing it in the morning and, um, and then I had, you know, pretty red skin. And it looked, it almost looked dot, you know, like dots all over me. And you ran um, into a rosebud, rosebud bush. And there's different, yeah. um, there's different, the needles that are on this little guy here, there's different um, needle types. And so the one that I have is 0.25 millimeters and it could go all the way up to three millimeters. So like starting with a small one, like that's 0.25, which is a small one. Um, and then just doing it like a couple of nights a week. And then like these face skin oils that I have in the ebook, those are like, they're, they're a heavier, like they're luxurious and they feel good, but it, do it at night. Also, regardless if you do the microderm thing, not in the morning, because like, if you're then going to put makeup on or something, cause it might like make your makeup slide off a little. So do like the hydrating cream or something in the morning before makeup, but then before bed, do the nourishing skin oil. Okay. Yeah, I do have a question. Yes. I'm trying to follow you, but kids are distracting me too. So no okay, I did the glow up serum. And so I okay. put it in this dropper. Okay. So I put all my oils in and then I don't, I have the sensitive skin. So should I add that? Not the body, right? The body is for your actual body, not for your face. Correct. I'd recommend doing the, the sensitive one. That's so the I drops in here and then fill the rest of it with this. That's what I do. Yep. Okay. Or you could do fractionated coconut oil too. Um, and then in one of the, like in the Lux recipe, I have That's using hoba or argan oil. And those ones are really good too, just like even down the road to keep in the back of your head because they really closely resemble our, um, what is it called? Our skin sebum. And so like, that's why they often are used on face skin things. Um, but this, what's in the sensitive skin oil? Yeah, I don't have those. And so I was going to do like maybe half fractionated coconut oil yeah. and like half of this. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to use it all. Use it all. I'm yeah. Like, do half and half and try that. Right. Okay. Right. I mean, find about fractionated coconut oil on your face too. Um, but this one, I feel like it's just a little bit thicker. Um, and the sensitive skin oil has grapeseed oil, hemp seed oil, and sunflower seed oil. So it's just, it's really yummy. Well, and Jesse, you know, that oil, one of the other, my favorite things to do, especially now that it's starting to get cold and you know how your skin just feels drier and gets dry quick. I, um, and I 
I don't use like a, um, a makeup base. I use the tinted moisturizer from Beauty Counter. But what I like to do is on the palm of my hand, I put two drops of the sensitive skin oil and then I squirt my tinted moisturizer right into that and I and I mix it like my palm is a palette just in a little circle and then I put that on and I've had some really very sweet um, comments about how my skin just looks like it's glowing <laughs> lately and especially when I go into doctor's offices it's so weird doctors have mentioned it mm. and and one is Rick's heart doctor, and he was so funny. He goes, you know, I wouldn't say this to you unless Rick was here to hear this, but Cindy, your skin is just really, it's glowy. Mm -hmm. he, said, he said, for all you guys have walked through, your skin just looks really beautiful. <laughs> I, went, I was just, but that's what I do. Two drops okay. of sensitive skin oil in with my tinted moisturizer. So, cool. Thank yeah. you for sharing. Okay, next I'm gonna sh I'm I'm gonna walk you through how to make immunity tea, which this is another great gift giving thing. But I'm not gonna actually physically make it. I'm also keeping after I show you the immunity tea, I want to show you something for the diffuser stuff. And then those of you that are on live, I I have a couple options, and I'm gonna let you guys pick what I show you what to make. Um, so the immunity tea is so easy and it's such a lovely, wonderful gift to give people. These same jars that you that I used for the candles, you can use this for immunity tea. This is four ounces. And so the recipe I shared is a four ounce glass jar. You put raw honey in it, which like there's a honey store close to us. So like if you have local raw honey, that's option number one that I would recommend because there's also the great benefits for like your allergies and stuff because the bees have pollinated around you. Um, but Costco, this is, they also have, like we moved to Idaho. This is Idaho raw honey. When we lived in Washington, Costco sold Washington raw honey. So I don't know if in every state they have like their Costco state raw honey, but I know in Washington and Idaho, it changed. Um, so you could use something like this too. So really you guys fill, fill your jar with raw honey. And then the oils in it are on guard, ginger and citrus oils. And again, you can be creative. Maybe you don't have ginger. Just don't put it in. It's fine. Maybe, you know, you have green mandarin and that's not listed in the recipe. That's okay. Add in green mandarin, like have fun. I don't have tangerine listed in the recipe. Play, I, some people like putting pink pepper in their immunity tea. So what you do, you know, fill it with raw honey and then it's five drops of on guard. I mean, I'd make sure you put on guard in it. Five drops of on guard, two to three drops of each of the citrus oils you have. And then I like doing two drops of ginger. And then I usually will get do use like a wooden, what do you call it? Like a popsicle stick to stir it. Or if I'm just making it for myself, like I'll use like a butter knife or something just so I can stir it up. And then you just sort of let it marinate for a bit. And then I stir it again. And then I'll just lick off whatever's on. If you don't just like throw it away, like you want to lick it off because you're getting the good honey and oils. And, and then take a spoonful. You can use it as a cough syrup if you want. But what most of us like to do is we'll get We'll make tea with it. And so you get a boiling cup of hot water. You take a scoop full of this concoction, stir it up, and that's it. It's so easy. So, so easy. And it's so fun to give to people. Um, a lot of people have become oil lovers because I had them drink immunity tea and they felt better. And they're like, I need to get some of that. And so I'd give them a jar. And then they're like, wait, I need, you know, and I'm like, you guys, you can make it yourself, you know? And so then I just taught them and then one thing led to another and now they're like doing all the things. So immunity tea is great for you and your family. Um, you can drink it. I've made it iced before too. I don't know why I just like, don't do it very often, but you could make it, you know, put it over ice in the summer, but it's just awesome. If you're feeling a tickle in your throat, make some immunity tea, or if it's just, it's just a great protective concoction to make for you to drink. That's good for your health and it tastes good. So do you guys have questions about immunity tea? For my home jar, this is our home jar. Like we would go through a four ounce one really fast. So I have just a fun, this is a jar I actually got in France. Um, so I just have like multiplied the recipe out. And so then I just have a big jar that I keep in the cupboard that we make. And it's just a spoonful. Some people like to do two spoonfuls if you want a little sweeter, that's totally fine. But I always tell people start with one scoop. 
Jesse, I want to show you one of the things that I, and I thought of you, Carol, especially with this one, because Carol's an RVer. And I don't know if you can see my little tub, but in my cupboard, I have, you know, like these are old Tupperwares that I, that I wasn't using, but it helps me keep things together. And this is my tea tub. And so when, when I have company who comes to see me, I have my little tiny um, sugar and creamer, but this is with my, um, um, this is actually fake sugar and not fake sugar, but you know, good sugar. And then I have my tiny little, you know, this was just like a Walmart $1.99 thing with my selection of favorite teas. But then right below it, I have my little squatty canning jar and this is immunity tea. And almost all of my friends choose to sweeten their tea with a drop of my, you know, like a spoonful of my immunity tea. And I just keep it right in this thing. And so if you know, or have someone on your Christmas list who is an RVer or a camper, um, type of person. This is a wonderful little gift. I mean, you can see, and they just all fit in my little Tupperware. And then I just pull that whole thing out and plop it on the table and they enjoy. So, yeah. well, yeah, I'm thinking of gift giving, you know, if there's a fun, you know, mug that you want to give somebody, give them a mug and some immunity tea or like a box of tea. With immunity. I mean, you can just all these oily gifts they can complement each other like other things you're already doing but just add a little bit of that extra personal touch that I think is just we all need it right now we just need the extra personal things um okay so I included in the ebook some diffuser blends because just you know this is where we love our diffuser and we love diffusing stuff um but I wanted to just give the tip that I've been sharing to a lot of people like if there's a blend that you diffuse all the time. Like nighttime, we like get in our routines of like, okay, these are what we do. Getting a dropper and you could get like, this is a label that my friend's husband made um, and just make a custom diffuser blend. And this one, I think there were four oils in it. It was um, frankincense, vetiver, bergamot, and Roman chamomile, I think were the four. And so it was, you know, like vetiver is like a thick one that comes out slow. So I took the time and just filled this with equal parts of each. And so then that way it was easier to for like Luke to help me get stuff ready. And then you just do your five to six drops of oil in your diffuser. But that could be a fun gift to give someone too. If maybe you give them a little diffuser with a custom blend, because maybe they don't have oils at their house. And you're like, I don't want to buy them like four different, not that you don't want to buy it, but you don't buy four different bottles of oil for them, but you just give them, and you can get smaller droppers too, or same thing. Like you could repurpose an old 15 mil or five mil bottle even and make a custom blend but then be like okay put five to six drops and then it's just like a fun way to introduce people to oils and they're like I need more of that that's awesome and then they're like okay you like it let's we can, there's more you can do but I think just doing some custom blends or we have a Boshma blend that we really like as we call it and it sounds crazy and I always bring this up with Pettigreen because that's Pettigreen and until we came up with this blend like I honestly didn't use Pettigreen very much but it's Pettigreen, Passion, and Lime. I think those are the three. Green Mandra might be in it too. I haven't run down. Pettigrain, Passion, Lime. No, Pettigrain, Passion, and Green Mandarin. That's our blend, those three. And so in our car, because we have a car diffuser, I have that concoction made up in an old, like in a five or 15 mil bottle, because it's a lot easier in the car to like just dump out a one versus three different ones. So diffusing is so fun. And it's just a, like, an easy way to share the oily love. Okay, so here's the deal because we're like right about in an hour. Some of the things that I wanted to show you a lot, like I'm going to tell you some options. And then again, those of you that are live, you get to pick. And those of you watching the recording know that all the recipes will be in the ebook. So I was going to show you how to make diffuser bracelets, which really I'm not going to show you how to string a bead on a string. Like that's, I mean, that's easy, right? You just as long as you have the supplies. Um, get the stretchy string, which in the shopping list, I included a link, I mean, stretchy string, and then get yourself some fun beads. And so I wanted to show you, like, this is one that I made that, and I think it's sort of fun to make it, I mean, you see it's a necklace, but then, oh my Atlanta, sorry, depending on if someone wants a necklace or a bracelet, you know, you could, boom, you have like sort of a fun chunky bracelet. So I have wood beads, and then I have lava beads, which the lava beads are the ones that you're supposed to put the oil on. And then I have like just some fun blue beads. 
and the wood beads you could put oil on too. Um, this is a different necklace too. It's a necklace or a bracelet. It's a bunch of lava beads and then these fun little gold things, um, which I mean, it's just like, easy, just finding some fun. And it could be a fun craft, like if you have kids or grandkids where you just like, let's all make diffuser necklaces or bracelets together. And you just have like, maybe get a, what do you call it? Um, a, like a muffin tin and have like different types of beads in each one of the different containers. And then they could string up their own bracelet or you could help them make a gift for their mom or make a, you know, there's some fun things that you can do. Or I've never made a mala necklace, which is very similar to this one, but there's like tassels at the end. I've never gone so far as to learn how to do the tassel at the end but you can just do fun gifts, right? And so that's really easy. Get the stretchy string and get some fun beads and make some gifts, which again, you could also pair a fun gift like this jewelry and then do give them a custom blend. Isn't this a fun bottle? But again, if they don't have oils or you can make them a roller and they can just roll the roller on the lava beads too, or you could do it with a dropper to say, put a couple drops on your bracelet and you, boom, you're good to go. Right, fun. Or like my friend, um, or she's like a mutual friend. She makes this really fun jewelry, these earrings. Like these are not diffuser earrings, but I'm just thinking of gifting. It's like way to support local and small, like buying some homemade earrings or like leather earrings, like something like you could put oil on them, but buying a fun pair of earrings and making a bracelet to go with it and then giving them, you know, a custom blend. Or you could just give them something like balance, you know, and then they could put it on. But that'd be a really fun, thoughtful gift that, isn't gonna, that's really cost effective. I was gonna tell you too, with the Lux, with those different skin oils, like the base recipe that I made, what was it like pricing out? It's like about $15 with our costs, which, you know, and then if you add in the Lux one, it was, what was it? About $35, because it adds in the blue tansy. Um, but if you were to go to a place like Sephora and buy something that has like blue tansy in it, you're gonna be paying well over $100. I mean, people, but, and it's also not gonna be like the high quality oils like we have with doTERRA. So even if you like are using an oil like blue tansy or the other recipe has rose in it, sometimes I'm like, oh, when I use rose, but also, I mean, it's hundred percent like amazing quality and it's a good price, okay? Okay, so diffuser bracelets, but then also if you guys want, I can show you how to make, like these are the faux bracelets where all you need is like, I mean, it's not faux, it's like faux leather. I mean, you could get real leather, but you make them and then you tie them on. <laughs> you could do like a double wrap or a single wrap and then you just put oil directly on these. Um, or my plan is no matter what, I'm gonna make a video of me doing these, like a tutorial. But, Cause a lot of people have asked over the years and I was like, I'll make one. And I just haven't made a video yet, but I'm committing. I will make a video for sure. Showing how to make these. And they're really not hard. It's just like seeing how it goes to start off. Um, but then some of the other stuff I have in the ebook, I have a bath soap, which is like Epsom salts, but it had some other stuff in it. I have a lip scrub. I have a sugar scrub. And I think those are the three. Those are the other things I have in the ebook. Um, and I'm happy to show you how to make any of those, but really and truly, like I could just also talk you through some of them and give you some tips. Um, so those of you that are on live, what can I do to help you now? Or do you just want to switch to the Q&A where I can like help you think of some other things? Jesse, one of the things on your bracelets, this is one that I've worn now for, and this is the double wrap one that Jesse makes. And the only thing that happens over time, and I never take this off in the shower because I just roll right on it, but it started off with like a, um, a coppery looking button and I prefer silver and, and I really wanted a silver button, but silver buttons are frequently or stainless steel ones are frequently coated. And so, and this one happened to be, and so all I did was soak this in a little lemon juice for about an hour and then rubbed, rubbed, rubbed with my fingers and it's silver. Mm. And so that's the way to, um, to have a variety of buttons that you use because some of your friends are more like a goldish 
you know, they like gold stuff. Some are more silver, but it's like, since my hair turned kind of this silvery platinum thing, it's just like silver looks better, I think, than gold. And so that's how you make a silver is you just dip it in some kind of acid, natural acid, and it will eat that finish right off of there. And I get compliments on it all the time. They go, I just love that little silver like charm button thing on there. And it's like, well, it's the same one I've been wearing for about five years now. I mean, and this truly has lasted me that long and I wear it every day. I get tired of them. I have to like make a fresh one. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what do you guys think? Do you want me to show you? I mean, I have the supplies over here. I could show you some of the stuff or I could just like verbally talk you through some of the recipes and give you tips. How can I best help and serve you right now? You can also put in the chat if you don't want to unmute yourself. I think that the, the sugar scrubs are a beautiful gift. And Let's see what other people say too. Just I want to make sure, because I know you've made this stuff before. Yeah, I made it all. <laughs> okay, sugar scrub I'm hearing. Anyone else have a vote? Oh, I could have done, you know how like I've done it before and continuing ed where it pops up like a vote and you guys could vote really quick. Yeah. I just made sugar scrub this morning for all of my girlfriends that were doing a cookie exchange this afternoon. So fun. What one did you make? My favorite is Slim and Sassy. Ooh, that's a good, that's a good idea. Let's rub that around. I love it. I love it. Okay, so let's talk. So sugar scrubs, I mean, really, you guys, it's mixing up sugar with like fractionated coconut oil. I mean, there's different recipes out there, right? Um, but you could, because there's some that have using coffee grounds. There's a link I have for a coconut salt recipe that I, scrub recipe I shared that connects back to the doTERRA blog. Um, but the sugar scrub, and you can even get creative with like, because the one I have is a, like a candy cane sugar scrub. If you wanted to, mix it up and split it into two different spots and then get a food safe red coloring. I bought some online. That's like, not this, cause I'm like scared of, I'm scared of like red dye because of like all this, but there's like some other, there's some like natural ones that you can get, or you can even use raspberry juice to tint like one of like one of the containers with red. And then you could, as you fill, you have to be careful, but then when you're filling a jar, you could do a layer of the red, then a layer of the white layer of the red. So it's like more like a candy cane. If you want to like really, you know, go, go to town, um, with the sugar scrub, it's the one, the recipe I have, it's sugar, fraction of coconut oil, mix it. And you want the consistency to be, um, where the, the sugar, like you don't, where it's a little bit more liquidy. Like if you've ever bought doTERRA's body scrub, you know, like there, it's like there, it's a definite liquidy with a scrub where it's not like all crumbly, you know what I mean? And then after you've done that, then you add in the peppermint, which gives a tingle. I love Amy's idea of doing, um, slim and sassy. And I just think like right now, like postpartum and all the things and I like still working on my belly right here. Um, I've been putting slim and sassy on my belly with just like lotion, but I think doing that scrub would be really nice to use. And also thinking of like gifting too, like making a scrub that you give to someone and then maybe you give them also a dry skin brush and just pairing it with other things. Um, I've never made a coffee scrub, but those would be really fun too that I know a lot of people really like doing. Do you guys have other questions about the sugar scrub? There's even... Um, so the other one, I have a mint, minty tingle lip scrub, which has sugar, coconut oil, honey, and then it has peppermint and vanilla. And again, you just like, you mix it all up and, and it would just be like a scrub that you'd, you know, you'd put on your lips and that peppermint helps, that gives you that tingle. Um, and you can even buy, there's some recipes I've seen for lip, a lip, which peppermint itself would be lip plumping, but on Amazon, you can buy, you know, like a, lip gloss tube, like whatever, you know, like those, you know, this motion I'm making where you could make a lip pumping concoction with a, and I've never done it, but I saw it. I was like, that would be really fun to do, but this isn't, it's not like this is the only make and take or DIY workshop we'll have. We'll have more down the road, but like that could be really fun to pair it with a lip scrub and then making a lip plumper that actually comes in a lip gloss little thing. And then you just like put it on your lips. Wouldn't that be fun? 
I use neroli to like, I love that one on my lips for some reason. Um, okay, and then with the bath soak that I have in the ebook, now really like essence salts, like we've kept it super simple in our family. It's like the kids hold out their hands, we fill it with Epsom salts, and then um, we put like about three to five drops of oil in their hands, and then they put it in the bath. Like that, we just have kept it really simple. Um, but with this recipe that I have in the ebook, and again, if you want, I can like, we can go make it, um, but I just want to like, I'm not sure how you guys are doing on time and stuff, so I just want to be conscious of that. And if anyone, like if any of you that are on live, if you have to go, like I'm, it, I won't have hurt feelings. I understand. Um, but it adds in some other carrier oils. And then it, like, and you, this is like thinking also a fun gift giving with the bath soak and has in baking soda, which baking soda is super detoxifying. And the oils that I have are lavender and rosemary, which both of those oils, I mean, they're super, gent super gentle and calming, but they're also detoxifying and just help, um, they're just really good and healthy for our body. And it's a really nice combination together, the aroma. Um, but then, and it's sort of like, as you mix it up, it, it looks a little bit like, um, like the texture of snow. If you wanted to do this recipe that's in the ebook, but then you could even go so far as if you wanted to gift it for someone to add in like lavender buds, or you could get the rose, sprigs of rosemary that you could put in like a glass container that you give someone as a gift or a candy jar. Or in the ebook, I did a picture of, I don't know what you call them, they look like a vial, like, do you know what I'm talking Like a medicine vial? I don't, you know, that could just be fun, like where you would it put instructions on it, like dump entire contents in bathtub, where sometimes people you know, they're like, how many scoops do I use? And, and really, I'm just like, with a lot of that stuff, I'm just throw some in. But just, especially if you're doing it as a gift, be like, just dump entire contents in. But then I have that. Oh, um, like I have this jar that I was going to put this in. I was going to fancy it up. But, you know, just put your concoction of bath salts in here and then you can always find a fun, you know, scooper if you want. Uh, one of my friends, she was like, any coffee shop is going to have some, like fun scoopers that would, you know, be for coffee beans, but you could easily use it for, you know, your bath salts. And just thinking of a gift too, if you get a fun jar and then like a really cute, like wooden spoon or something. And then if there was like, you know, the lavender petals and not petals, the lavender but things, you know, I mean, that would be such a fun, luxurious gift and like giving it with a robe, you know, get her, um, like you could just, you could just go all kinds of different ways with that. Um, so that's, that's the, the bath soap. I think it's just, I don't know. I just am excited about all these different things to do. I also have, um, this is soaking. So these are scented pine cones. <laughs> so, um, this smells really good. So we got pine cones and Luke and Ryan found some for me. And then we baked them at 200 for about 30 minutes just to help if there were any things in here, just helped kill them, you know, cause we found them in nature. It's not like we bought them at the store. Um, and then on these little pads, they're left over from Noah's circumcision. There's like little cotton pads. We put some holiday joy, some drops of that. And like, we're just letting it it for a while so then we'll have scented pine cones this you can put in a jar you could also just put drops of oil on the pine cones but this is like helping to infuse it a little bit more and then you can get like just a fun bowl to put them in you know how that goes um and then also you could do that same idea with your christmas cards um when your christmas cards you get them put some drops of oil on some cotton balls and just zip seal them up in a ziploc bag and let them sit there for a day or two so It'll just have that time to marinate. I've done it before where I've taken, you know, like a spray like this and I'll spray my cards, um, but it does get them a little bit wet. And so you gotta let them dry. Um, but I think the marinating process would work really well. So um, provided I do Christmas cards this year, that's what I try to do. So <laughs> yeah. Okay, what other, do you guys have any other questions? I mean, that's like, I've sort of talked through this stuff. Um, what questions do you have? This is where, um, what I might do is I could pause the, I'm, I think I might end the recording because we're just a little, we're a smidgen over an hour. Um, like we're, yeah, sorry, like, uh, I hope you guys have learned some fun stuff. Um, the ebook I am going to, again, I'm going to update it. 
I have found some typos and stuff and I'm going to include, I, I can make, I, there's going to be hyperlinks in the ebook. There already are, but like the, the this recording, I'm going to have a hyperlink in the ebook. So like I send out the ebook, someone can open it up and then click on the video, this video and watch it. But then know that throughout the ebook, I'm going to link up, you know, different things like the stretchy string. I'll put it like on the recipe thing. I'll so just know there's going to be links in the ebook. Okay. So especially if you share it with people, just make sure they know that there's links throughout, um, you know, or like the soy pellets and different things like that. But I think just seeing, looking at time, I'm going to pause what? on like actual demos. I'll stop the recording, but then those of you that are on live, if you want a Q and a, and like want me to help you brainstorm some holiday gift ideas, I'm happy to. Um, but just so the video doesn't get too long, I'll stop recording on that. Okay. Oh, hold on. Here we go.